and a woman, woman, woman in every way. Yeah, yeah, I'm living my life, 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 living day by day. Yeah, yeah. Are you in Welcome every to Every Way Woman. woman. There are some major changes happening in the talk show world. So I keep hearing that I can't be Miss Wrong looking for Mr. Right. And I know you're looking for love too. What does it mean to be Miss Wrong? <laughs> well, first I, I, I want to know what is considered Miss Right, you know, because I think I'm perfectly fine. I mean, I'm not <laughs> saying, I'm not saying like, like anybody that knows me, I'm not, you know, like, you know, like that perfect, I think perfect, perfect. you know right. what I mean? But I think I got everything going on for myself, sure you know, do. like, you know, so what, I mean, what is considered Miss wrong. Well, I think if I had to get as a person, a woman carries a lot of baggage, a lot of her last relationship brings mm. it to the new relationship, mm -hmm. and then expect the man to be right. That's how I would define Miss well, right, and wrong. And also, a lot of women have these like big long checklists of what they expect out of their man. You know, he's got to be six foot two and all of this stuff. But they're not bringing anything to the well, table. Sunita, he so what are they bringing? Too. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's but, all but right. What if, what if they meet the man of their life and he's five seven? Do they say, "Oh, I'm sorry, mm. you don't make my list"? No, so but I, can't. I think it's all about there having like that. having yourself together before you're going to attract the person that has all these qualities that you want as well. Mm. I know you my know? girl Lauren Hill said it. How you gonna win when you ain't right with it? You know. <laughs> 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 is not right and it's not together then you won't be fit for any I think you know two wrongs don't make a right okay but so. I and I blame myself for a lot of the failures in my past relationships and I can't really get over that mm -hmm. and so I feel like I'm still Ms. Wrong and I don't know how to become Ms. Right to get but Mr. Right. don't apologize. Women, we love fast and we love hard. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want you to apologize for that. That's you manage great. it but don't apologize for that. Mm -hmm. I think for me personally it's the wrong timing. Like for me, especially everything that happened recently, mm -hmm. it's like totally the wrong timing. So I want to give myself some more time before well, I happened? try to what, look. What happened? Well, my boyfriend passed away yeah, six okay. months ago. So it's it. You can't just go into another. Right. It's not no. like, right. To me, he was Mr. Right. So you how do you right. go look you. for another Mr. Right? You know. Okay. What I mean? You know, you take that time to get yourself right, and, and then that's you what can, I'm doing you know, right be able now. To find well, Definitely. I'll say for myself when I was dating. I brought a lot of baggage, and I know I was Mrs. Wrong, and I was okay with that. I was doing something that was not right, mm -hmm. um, wanted, had a lot of expectations, mm -hmm. and then I wanted my mate to meet that, and he couldn't because mm -hmm. I didn't understand. I didn't really know what I wanted. And so. I think that speaks to you, Jocelyn, because I feel like you know, with, you're looking at these past relationships, and you know, you're trying to figure that out. But I think at this point, it's not even about the relationship. Are you good with yourself? Are you settled? Mm. You know, it, don't look at the relationship to fix you or, or, or give you something that's missing from you. But I mean, can we just be real though? I mean, seriously. We think our husband's supposed to come on this white horse and galley up in our life. And really, my mama told me that the man might have one eyeball or wear glasses Absolutely. or he might be 5'5", five exactly. five, you know, but as long as he treats you good. Absolutely. You should be comfortable that's with Mr. that. Right. No, I don't yeah. agree with that. You don't yeah. agree with that? I don't agree with that. Why? I'm not going to be attracted to a man who has one eyeball. Yeah, thank you. There so has to your husband got eyeball. glasses. Yes, he does. <laughs> to a husband has one eyeball and I think as a woman I don't have to settle. I don't have to settle. That's yeah. why yeah. I, 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 you know, I, I have a friend, he has one eyeball and he's six okay. one and no. he got into an injury and just because he got a patch in his eye don't make him no less attractive. Amber, it's not about the patch in his eye, it's about not <laughs> settling and That's I think right. in, in this That's like it. quest for love sometimes then I settle because I'm in such a hurry to find that right. Right. or, or compromise or sacrifice because oh. I'm like, oh, well, you know, I don't I have to worry about that. I shouldn't care about his one eyeball. So that's right. good enough for so me. So you're still stuck on the one eyeball. I said he has a patch Oh, now. come on. That's all I'm saying. But I, I'm just saying. 
saying? Like sometimes though, <laughs> that priority of looks is put up so high up there, mm. and all the other stuff of how he treats you, what Thank he makes you, you feel, yeah, is nowhere that's, that's, on the list. It's, okay. it's not on the it's checklist. It's important all ladies, that But what I'm saying is, as women, let's not let's not stay there. Right. Don't tell women that if you desire a handsome man, as long as he treats you right, he doesn't have to be handsome. I'm not selling that to my daughters. I'm telling him he can be fine and treat you right. You get what and you want, right? <laughs> 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 not everybody's gonna look like a Laura Chesno or a Ryan Gosling. Ain't nobody gonna look like that. Ain't nobody gonna look like that. And he's not gonna play my daughters. We can hope he looks like Ryan Gosling. We sure can. Without the hat. I'm show Ryan Gosling. Oh, come on. We'll be right back with more Every Way Woman. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Are you in every way, woman? We're back with Leah Roman. Leah, today we're gonna talk about the one part of our body that we never speak about as relates to health, our face. Give us some tips about just having a healthy skin regimen. Well, that's what it is. You have to have a healthy skin regimen and that begins with cleansing, exfoliating, and moisturizer. And that is very important to get the skin. You wanna cleanse to remove excess dirt and oils and also exfoliate to get rid of those um, cells, your dead skin cells, and turn over and get healthy glowing skin and moisturizing because that plumps the skin, believe it or not. Okay. So after I cleanse, mm -hmm. exfoliate, and moisturize, let's say I want to have a makeup quickie. You know, make yeah. it a little, <laughs> make it a little nice for my, for my man. What are some of the things, what are some quick tips of just doing a makeup quickie? That's All what right. I call it. So, Holly, you're beautiful as it is, but we're going to do, we're going to kick it over a notch. Okay. And what we're going to do is start with a highlighter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I call it a makeup quickie because sometimes, you know, women don't want to have the eyelashes and the blush and all of that. They just want to have something that makes them look nice, sexy, youthful, and fresh. Yeah, glowy is the secret. So that's what you want to get a highlighter, a cream highlighter. Okay. That's the best to do. You don't want to get powder because it could get too cakey and it could also accentuate fine lines. So you okay. have to be careful with that. All right. So in having a make a quickie, would it be safe to say that less is more? Absolutely. Okay. You don't right. want to do too much. As you can see there, she's already glowing here. And her skin is so beautiful. Yes, just, okay. just from that, just from that right there. Okay. And also, what you'd want to do is do blush and a cream blush. Once again, cream is key. Try to stay away from powders. W what's the difference between cream and powder? You just look fresh. You look more fresh. And then as we age, our skin lacks moisture and okay. the powder kind of just sits on there and kind of makes you look a little bit washed out. Okay. I need that. As a mature woman, I need that. Mm -hmm. Cream, not powder, okay? Absolutely, <laughs> because you see how that, it melts into the skin and it okay. just has her sheen right here. Wow. You would get the apple of the cheeks here. It definitely has a different look than powder. That is correct. Absolutely. Okay. There you are. And then another thing, you don't want to go too dark with the lip. As we age as well, the lips get thinner. And so you want, if you use dark lipstick, mm -hmm. it's going to actually make your lips look smaller. Okay, so let's talk about, because I'm a mature woman. As I'm aging, my lips are getting thinner. So sometimes I may pencil in my lips. Should I be doing that? Because I know they're thinning, but I want to give them that full look. You can pencil them in, but you have to make sure that you blend. And blending is a secret to everything. Okay. But in this in this case, what we're going to do, we're not penciling it in because we want more of this natural look to her. And the secret isn't penciling. The secret is actually gloss. Gloss makes your lips appear fuller. And I'll show you. I'll get a clear gloss after I do this here. And I will show you what I mean by that. Okay. So we have cream eyes, we have cream rouge, and then we have a nice gloss. Right, right. and you want to get the gloss, mm -hmm. and you can just go just right about here in the middle here, and then on the top, and it just instantly, without lip injections, <laughs> without anything. <laughs> Holly, how does your quickie feel? Wonderful. <laughs> Pain-free. Yes, yes, and that's wow. what you want. And you, you see look that? beautiful. Radiant. Yeah. 
Read okay, it. and that was very quick. Yes, All it right. was. For more tips from Leah, please go onto our website at everywaywoman.com. Leah, thank you. Thank Stay you. beautiful. Thank you. Everyday Kitchen is next with Everyway Woman. Are you in every way, woman? Welcome back. So many of us working folks are running around and we don't take the time to prepare our lunch. Chef Shelley's here to convince us that we can eat healthy even if we're busy. Chef, you know what? I'm out there all the time and I, I plan all my other things. I plan my bags and all that, all the work that I have to do. But then it gets to lunchtime, I'm like, I don't have anything to eat. And so, what do so you, do? you know, there's fast food right there, uh, and yeah. I know Anna over I'm here. I'm guilty, guilty. Yeah. I'm really? totally fast food. You're you know, me. I do radio. I'm a makeup artist. You know, I do this talk show. I am always on the go. So I definitely, I'm happier here. Show us something. Well, you know what? <laughs> Tell us what we can, can eat because it's healthy. hard to cook. You yes, know? it is. It is. It's really healthy, right? Absolutely. But you know what? There's always ways to eat healthy quickly. So what we're gonna do today is something really simple. It's a sandwich. Okay. Okay, but it's a wrap. So we're gonna Ooh. wrap it. It's a wrap sandwich. Wrap it so up. what we're doing is a tomato, corn, and sun-dried tomato with um, some sun-dried tomatoes okay. and turkey wrap. Very simple. All right. So, so, help. so I'm gonna have Sunita <laughs> help me here. All grab right. this. Grab this uh, okay. wrap here. And we have some ranch dressing, and we're gonna just uh, spread that on over here. I like my ranch what dressing. What kind of flatbread is that, though? Uh, it's just a regular okay. flat. It's, okay. a, it's called flat out bread, is what okay. it's called. You can use tandoori, you can use uh, pita, but okay. I prefer this. Right. It has a little bit more substance to it. What else can I add in? Uh, we have some cheese. We have right. some feta cheese. Oh, I love me some feta. Right. Uh, it's very good, very, very, very good. Right. Is okay. that too and much? No, you can put okay. as much as you like. Okay, um, but you know, portion sure. control. Oh, I forgot about that healthy part of the segment. So now we have smoked turkey. Okay. Any meat you like. We can use ham. What do we want? Turkey, though. It's pretty tasty for everyone. So we're going to do some. Well, some chicken? this is this is lighter for you. Okay. Turkey's okay. Lighter, lighter. <laughs> so calories. what do I do? Do I put it all over you know, the middle? We're gonna, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread it all out. Okay. Oh, so the okay. point of the wrap is that you want to get everything okay. in each, you know, bite, mm -hmm. kind of like your sandwich. Oh, you I, I know, because you know when you have that bite and it has nothing oh, in it, you're like, what a waste. You just want to have it all spread out, though. Okay. So, oh. Okay. All right. Now, now, but this is a little different. One more. Okay. What else? What else you got for us? Okay. So that was good. We have. Uh, so that is so pretty. Well, we have romaine lettuce. I like okay. romaine lettuce a little crunchier. It doesn't. How about if you don't need lettuce, like uh, cabbage? You I'm, can. I'm um, this is cabbage. the thing. Let me give you a secret on romaine lettuce. Romaine lettuce, okay. when you put it in a sandwich and you put it to go and you put it in like a Ziploc bag, it doesn't actually wilt as fast as the rest oh. of the lettuce. Okay. So that's why we're dealing with romaine. Okay. So let's put some of this romaine in here. All right. Let me put okay, this Okay. Just put it right there in the middle. And then I'm going to have so Anna pretty. help me now because you've done your job. Thank you so okay. much. All right, okay. my job is So done. here we okay. are, Anna. Um, we have some sun dried tomatoes. Now, okay. I like sun dried tomatoes. I because love How much do you put in this, though? You know, you can put as much as you like, uh, not too much. I not too much? Yeah, okay. Just, yeah, there we go. There. Do you okay. Have Absol oh, yes, I love absolutely. sun dried tomatoes. So um, the reason why I like these is because it has a little tart tang tanginess oh, to I it. I love it. Okay. Um, we're going to use some fresh veggies here, okay. um, which usually people don't put corn in their sandwiches, but we're going to do that today because okay. we're going to wrap it up. It's not going to fall out. Is that something you can have year round? Because, you know, usually I think of corn Well, in the corn's summer. a summer uh, vegetable, but uh, you can always find it. Okay. Might be a little bit pricier, but. How much do you, you put of this? You're just not going to use as much. If you're so a tomato okay. person, lots of tomatoes. If you're a corn person, lots of corn. I like what corn. What do you like? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you okay. use canned corn? You can. I like fresh corn. Um, it keeps the nutritional value a little bit better than canned. I prefer all fresh vegetables. Um, after that would be frozen. So okay. Can really you use frozen for this? Uh, you can, but you would have to thaw it out and then. Uh, That's too much time. Exactly. Exactly. What else exactly. are we gonna do? So we're just now gonna do fresh. Okay. So now we're just gonna wrap this little puppy wrap. together. Can we wrap it? Sure. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Just wrap, in half, or just wrap, wrap, wrap. You can wrap it however wrap, you want. But you wrap, know what? Wrap, wrap. You know, you do can you do a full on wrap. Like that? Well, you can do it like that. Okay. And then what you do is you just take a, oh. uh, you can get some saran wrap mm -hmm. or a uh, wax paper, wrap it real tight. But is this a little messy? Like what What can you do? Well, when you have it wrapped in mm -hmm. your wax paper and you just hold it like you do any sandwich, it would be okay. very easy. All right. Well, awesome. it's all for you. I, you can take that on. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'll do it well, right thank now. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we'll have more for you. And we'll Are go. you in every way, woman? Well, the saying goes, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So does that mean ladies looking for a man need to learn to cook? Because Felicia, I know you don't cook. Girl, guilty as charged. <laughs> yeah. The last time I cooked, it was actually macaroni. Don't laugh yet. 
the smoke detector went off. I was like, Ooh, oh my girl, God. You messed up on People macaroni? were like, what did you make? I was like, Did you even throw cheese in it? <laughs> I did. I did throw cheese, but it just caught on fire. And I just grabbed the, <gasps> the towel and I was banging it. So you, you know, can't trying cook. To get it off. So I you can't cook. Macaroni. Is that a real meal? Okay. Really? So, but <laughs> I know that you love to cook, Jessica. <laughs> and meal. you cook for your man. Yes, I so do. So, is that the way to a man's heart? Because that's, every guy likes to eat, every girl likes to eat, but. true. When I actually do cook, because I'm in between being a vegan, I'm, I got sick being a vegan, but I'm sick of being fat, so I don't know what's <laughs> going on. I'm in between, but I stuff turfolky down his neck and have to hear him complain mm. about, oh, babe, I don't want to eat like a rabbit. So <laughs> when I do cook for him, I cook my slap it to your mac and cheese. There you go. So oh, I, I, so I think that he cheese? loves me only because of my mac and cheese. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> so you do think the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Do you agree with that? I do agree. Do? I, so I then Felicia, do you but feel you like... But you ain't look like you ain't gonna have no man because you uh, don't even know how to cook. <laughs> because you were saying to me before this that you would rather just give your man fast food than cook for him. Do you no. think that that's I mean, working for you? you? Know, it's nice. Like he's working, I'm working, I'm gonna get off work. Hey babe, I'm gonna pick up some whatever cooking lessons you know <laughs> I think there's something and it doesn't that. work I think there's something to be said about having that role of not just bringing home McDonald's and yeah. bringing home a warm meal for your man just to kind of social support. Eat, no, but but it goes vice but I think first it goes all, vice versa. But because first of all, yes, we are in 2013. Last time I checked, we are not in 1952. Exactly. And so you take care of each other. And I think that sharing, it's really important about sharing, sharing the responsibilities. love. She might be talking about you need to share students, responsibilities. Why does a woman need to be in the kitchen bar. slaving away while he's over there playing the Xbox? Share the love, <laughs> but make sure that <laughs> you get up, boy, get up the Xbox. Go use your hands for something else. Well, it's either it's through his stomach or through other ways. Thank you. We'll be right back with Everyway Woman. Stay with us for tomorrow's stars. Are you an Everyway Woman? Everyway Woman is proud to put our spotlight on up-and-coming comedian Taquita Love. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. So what makes you an Everyway Woman? Uh, I'm an Everyday Woman because I'm fearless. I've learned in life that um, no's are really just a gateway to yes. So it's like you can't... No doesn't mean never and just not now. It means not now. It means that if you keep going, then that no will some way and somehow turn into a yes. You, I mean, you can't, you can't fail if you don't, you know, if you try. You must be a fearless woman. I'm very fearless. Let's see what you have. <laughs> hey, guys. Okay. So, um, I feel like some traditions just need to die. Like, whoever said catching a bouquet at a wedding mean you next to get married? That's a lie. Like, I've caught 13 bouquets. You see this? Nothing. I feel like it's weird, though, because I feel like weddings, they give you a false sense of romance, So, um, especially for women. So you have to be careful what type of man you take to a wedding with you. I'm not going to lie. I slipped up. I took a dude just because he was fine. <laughs> but he was like a sandwich specialist from Quiznos. Um, but don't trip because he had a side hustle because, you know, women, we love those hustlers. He sold t-shirts out of his homeboy trunk um, because his car was like in transition or something like that. That's what he said. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, at weddings you have to be careful because you will get caught up in the hype. Like you have the flower girl throwing the flowers down, you have the ring bear presenting the ring, then you have all the bridesmaids and they look good because they have on the same color, no matter how big they are. And then all the groomsmen, they look good because they have on suits. Like, let me tell you something about a suit. Like, a suit on a man is an instant upgrade. Like, it'll take you from coach to first class immediately. Yes, it will. <laughs> so I'm at the wedding with this dude. He has a suit on, so I automatically forget his flaws. And then now they're exchanging vows, and the bride is saying, oh, baby, I prayed for you, and God sent me my king. And the groom is saying, well, baby, when I met you, I was a boy, and because of you, I'm a man. <laughs> like, I'm getting so caught up in the hype that I'm looking at this fool thinking about having his babies. 
Like, I got so caught up that I started selling T-shirts with him at the reception. It's like, oh, okay, one for 15. Okay, 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 two for 20, two for 20. Um, I started introducing him as my fiance. It's like, Auntie Lara, I want you to meet my fiance, Jay. Um, oh no, no, I don't know his last name. Mm -mm, just the letter J, not J A Y or J A E. Ladies, those are the type of men that will mess our lives up. Like their names are one letter. It'll be like J or O or Q. Darn where it is. Um. <laughs> Y'all, I feel like men will use anything as a reason to try to holler at us. Um, I recently had hip surgery, and because of it, I had to walk on a cane. But it's weird because I feel like my cane gave courage to dudes that would never have a chance with me. <laughs> um, I'm at the club with my homegirls, and the guy at the door, he has a cane too. So he automatically throws his cane in the air, like I'm supposed to throw my cane in the air, like we match, we automatically go together. Um, I feel like the presence of the cane made me look worse off than what I really was. I was at physical therapy, and a guy in a wheelchair gave me a note, and it said, would you like to join me for dinner? Blink once for yes, <laughs> blink twice for no. It's like, sir, I am not at your level of disability right now. Oh, he don't understand me. So I blinked once, y'all. Who gonna turn down the free meal? <laughs> he sent a car to come pick me up. One of those handicapped access vans. Like ladies, you have not lived unless you had a ride on one of those lifts. Those, mm, ee, ee, ee. He took me to Morton Steakhouse. Um, I feel like your age determines what mechanism you use to try to holler at a girl. I kind of consider your player card. So if you're in your 20s, your player card is, is all about your looks, how good you look. So you can take your shirt off and be like, look at them abs, baby, go on and touch them. And you good. Like, you can get the number probably. In your 40s, is about how much money you make. So it's like if you give a girl $100, oh, go get your hair and nails done, then you might get some play. You might get some action. But when you're older, it's all about your health. So it's like, if you're running like a 5K for Bank of America, then you're good. Y'all, when I was on the cane, this 76-year-old man tried to holler at me. And when I told him I wasn't interested, he hit me with his player card. Well, um, you know I do cardio three times a week. Like, to reassure me that if I gave him some, that he wasn't going to die on me? <laughs> it's like, sir, I am not interested in trying to mess with somebody that looked like my grandpa. But if he had a suit on, <laughs> I might have gave him some play. Thank you, guys. I'm Taquita Love. <laughs>